Well, uh, we found a new generation opera uh, after having for many years worked in the opera scene. And uh, um, what, I, what I have found as one of the most uh, interesting uh, forms of development for opera is the vis visual, visuality in opera. Uh, I think that um, opera needs more visuality, more kind of uh, uh, quick cuts, more film-like expression. And I, I think it's something for, for modern people uh, that, that is more approachable uh, compared to the kind of traditional way of setting operas in a great scene. So uh, what, what, what we are trying to bring to the, to the art form of opera is uh, more visual productions, more film art productions that give our, our audiences uh, more impulses and more visual attraction. In Don Giovanni, uh, we are actually setting a conventional opera production on stage. But in addition, to, in addition to that, we also uh, are making a live film of the production of the piece. And w the, the, in these terms, it means that we are actually having two uh, gigantic screens on the stage, over the stage, so people in the audience can actually see a movie and the at the same time they're watching a traditional opera performance. And in addition to this, um, uh, the performance that is displayed on the screens can also be distributed around the world uh, through internet streams and mobile applications. Uh, this is uh, realized uh, uh, through our active camera team that is working live on the stage and even our, some of our soloists are using mobile cameras uh, to, to film the opera while they're on stage. So we're actually getting a very three-dimensional uh, visual performance of the, of the, of the show, uh, 30, 360 degrees from all perspectives of the stage. And I think this will be very enjoyable for the, for the audience. We have uh, experienced a huge digital revolution during the last years. And uh, all the digital networks, uh, the mobile uh, uh, devices we are now being able to enjoy are offering our, us many, many, many opportunities. And I think it's very uh, essential for Opera to also uh, join these channels that we have worldwide. We have iTunes, Windows Phone, uh, Markets and everything else, all streams in the Internet. Uh, I think this is a huge opportunity. We can reach a wide audience for one performance worldwide if we develop this kind of uh, uh, performance strategies and performance, performance formats. I think this is going to be a rather uh, uh, exciting uh, mixture of uh, a traditional uh, Rococo setting of uh, Don Giovanni and a modern interpretation in terms of uh, the characters of, of, our, uh, of our Don Giovanni performance. So uh, what we are, the story we are actually telling is that a, a group of young, well-off people are, uh, are going to spend their free time, leisure time, by renting an opera house and uh, having a huge party there. Don Giovanni of, as an opera is of course about a huge party and doing crazy things. It's drama giocoso, so it's mostly about having fun and doing sometimes even some stupid things like uh, killing innocent people and uh, having some really exciting relationship affairs. So uh, uh, these young people actually, uh, I would say, come to the theater, uh, find anything they can from the, from the uh, uh, storages of the opera and, and they put it on stage and start having fun together and this is how the story kind of starts and uh, they tell us the story of Don Giovanni in this setting which I think will be very fresh and, uh, and also very uh, kind of uh, uh, an interpretation, interpretation that is from very much today's world. We can actually find uh, very familiar characters, very, very familiar feelings that we can relate to in our own lives. The Tapiella Sinfonietta is one of the best orchestras uh, in, the, in the northern Europe in terms of playing Mozart. And from the very beginning when I was planning this production, I, I thought that I really, I really would like to have this orchestra specifically to play this opera. They are very delicate in, in, in the terms of knowing the style of Mozart playing, the very dynamic, very uh, wide range of characters and, and sounds in their orchestra. So they are really an optimal orchestra to play this opera with us. I have chosen some very young performers to this performance. They are in their in the 30s at the moment, most of them. And uh, it's actually one of the focuses of New Generation Opera to bring up some new uh, talent and uh, show to the wider audience some, some of the best talents we have in, in their younger years. So, uh, for example, in our title role, Don Giovanni, we have a 29-year-old Finnish uh, baritone, Walter Torica, who has also already been very successful in his career and I'm, of, of, of whom I'm sure will make a huge career during his future. He's also a wonderful stage personality and uh, really drives the show from the very beginning. Also, we have other, other great Finnish singers in the team and also I'm, I'm very glad that we have been able to invite 
two uh, major soprano talents from Sweden, uh, Ida Falk of Vinland and uh, Malin Christensen, Ida doing the, the role of Donna Anna and uh, Malin doing the role of Tarlina. They have both been during, doing a great career all around the world, performing in Covent Garden, La Scala, in Milano, uh, in Los Angeles, you name it. They really have a great career going on all the time. And now we're having the honor to, to present them to the Finnish and the international public for the first time in Finland. Don Giovanni uh, is one of us urban characters that uh, are scared to death to meet real love, <coughs> real compassion. And therefore he, he flees all the time from, from uh, actually from this real feeling. <coughs> When it gets too real, he, 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 he flees. Um, but at the same time, he is also looking for the real love, which for him is very important to find. Uh, and this conflict between fleeing from love and looking for love is what, what makes this character very uh, understandable, very up-to-date. He's a very desperate character and therefore very suitable for both comedy and tragedy. And this play, uh, according to Mozart, this, this opera is a comic opera. But for me, I mean, uh, the dialogue and uh, the situations are, are very modern. They could be written by Woody Allen or they could be written by Ingmar Bergman. Uh, the comedy tragedy goes goes like this, and uh, this ambivalence, this both ways are, are actually not o not only Don Giovanni's thing, but it's it's the character, it's it's this uh, ambiguity, this both ways is something that is not only Don Giovanni in this opera. It's all characters. They are on the other hand, on the other hand, the the whole world is on the other hand, on the other hand, which makes it uh, unstable, and and uh, actually very much like the world we have, kind of balancing on an edge, falling this way or falling that way, but unable to, uh, unable to, to keep kind of balance. For me, this is one of the best, if not the best, opera libretto ever written. It's very idiomatic for music, from the structure, dramaturgy, but it, it's also, f in the dialogue, it's very true. Uh, there are operas that you need when you see, it, see them, you need to think, okay, this is opera, therefore I have to believe it's true. Okay, it's opera, uh, perhaps things at that time work that way. In this case, this, this is not how it is. We can think of it as, as something, something happening today. Uh, and we are not, even if there's this Mozart's kind of, well, actually for Mozart is, is for me one of, one of the greatest uh, Dramatists, after Shakespeare, after Chekhov, he's com he's compo he, com he composes, but he's really a, a, a dramatist. And he, what he what he knows to do, like nobody else, is to compose, to find musical structures for very complicated human situation, human relations in in a in a scenic situation. So the the, the situation on the on, on stage is very idiomatic, very true, very real. At the same time, the musical structure is, is complete. And that, that makes, makes this material very fascinating to work with. Working with singers, I, I try to think of uh, reminding them that uh, of what very easily happens when, when, you, when you work with music. Music is very strong both uh, emotional and uh, physical. When you sing, you use your body. So very easily, the body, body goes in into the rhythm of the music and uh, in a kind of, kind of, let's say, reciting tempo, which at the same time makes your movement slow, slower than in real life. Uh, and uh, for me, the realism of, of, on, on an opera stage is very much a question of the singers being able to, to have a kind of prose in their bod body, a, a rhythm in the body that is, 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 is that we know from, from non-opera situations, even if they sing.
So that that's something that I very much look for. And of course, what what I also, but this is not only opera. It's, it's always uh, for me, drama is always about change. You start the drama starts from one situation, then you have new circumstances around, then you end up in a new situation. And and what really happens is is in a drama is that the community kind of accepts the new. Uh, circumstances or tries to change them. In this, in this case we have this conformist society, these pairs getting married and, and uh, looking forward into a conformist life, ordinary life. <coughs> then comes Don Giovanni with something else and kind of awakens them to think of their own life, of their own situation and, and of their own kind of, is this really what we want? I am. Is, is this really the love I, I, I've been longing for? Is this really my life that I'm choosing now? And, and the world gets, gets mixed up because of Don Giovanni. And, and it gets get mixed into, to that extent that, that the world has to kind of push him out to be able to, to go on. And that, that's what happens. And we, much, we see this process in this opera from the point of view of, of this conformist society and then from the from the point of view of, of, of Don Giovanni, who who does anything to to become a part of, of the community. A little bit actually in the same way as, as I suppose Mozart must have done at the same time uh, when he composed this. He was expelled by the, the Viennese bourgeois for being what he was. Uh, and, and he made anything to to become accepted again without succeeding. And this is also what happens in this, this, uh, this opera. Don Giovanni tries very much to be accepted, but he is what he is. And therefore, he cannot have a part in, in this conformist life. He is too, pers too indiv individual, this too, too strange, too, too different. Too, yeah. and, and at some point, he realizes himself there is, there is no way back. There is no way to, to, to become a part again of the society and that, that, that that's when he kind of realized it that he he is becoming a stone Tapiola Sinfonita is 26 years old orchestra it is Esposito orchestra uh, its size is chamber orchestra and that makes us uh, specialists in, in the classical period and uh, also contemporary music. Uh, we like to do different things, but of course we are very focused on, on classical music and, and symphony concerts. But beside that we do a lot of cooperation with different different companies and different uh, festivals, for example. So it's very versatile orchestra. Every collaboration gives something new. It is always a pleasure to go to festivals like Helsinki Festival. We once did all the Sibelius symphonies in Helsinki Festival. And then, of course, if we travel to other festivals, it's nice. But, but this kind of cooperation that we are doing now with, with a small company, it's, it's really, really nice because you always get something new, new ideas and maybe a little bit more flexibility from the others. One of the, our most, most important things is, is the quality and that's of course the, the thing we are concentrating on. Um, but the perspective we, we get with videos and, and uh, cell phone cameras, it's, it's very interesting because then you see all the faces and, and, and new angles to, to this thing. So it's, it's, it's very nice to combinate then. And I think we have succeeded very well because we have a high quality also as a visual thing in this opera. I have a feeling that the orchestra really, really likes to do this because, of course, it's Mozart. It's one of the, the world's best operas we are playing now. And as an uh, orchestra, we don't usually do opera. It's too complicated. We need somebody to help us. But now we can play it. And we have been talking a long time of, of this to do an opera, a classical opera. So I think they are very happy. And of course, the music is marvelous. It's the best parts of of, of it, so it's uh, we are quite happy to do this. I have to say, and 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 
well, it's the second project we do this, this season, but people have really been looking forward to it and I think they are in very good shape doing this. Orchestras in Finland uh, are many and strong at the moment, but uh, of course there are, I think there are going to be some changes in the field and we are talking about funding and, and locations and stuff like that. And uh, for us as an orchestra, of course, one of our main things is to, to preserve and cherish our culture, our inheritance, but also to support new art. And that's why I think we have to be open to have new ideas, new, new people on the brands, new ankles, new whatever, courage to do these things. And in the same time, always keep the quality because that's the, the core thing in, in art, of course, the, the quality to be able to, to offer people really, really good experiences. Um, and projects like this, doing when we are, we are working with young people and, and doing something new, are all, of course, they are very necessary to us because we can't stay we can't stop <laughs> going, going away. Of course, when we are orchestra, we need space. We need concerts, a certain type of things to, to keep, keep to level. But there's nothing that prevents us to, to do experiments and add different things to that. F film and opera meets very well. I, I believe that uh, they have some kind of strong relationship to each other. Uh, somehow this uh, musical, uh, mu music and, and dramatic and cinematic scene has something, you know, in common. And, and to, to me it feels very natural to bring cameras uh, around this opera. The task, task has been that uh, Eric Söderboom is directing uh, uh, the action to the scene and I have, you know, de developed uh, this storyboard and, 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 and thinked, um, thought how, how it should be filmed. Um, uh, what is the um, mm, uh, cinematic value in, in these scenes? And, and I have found out, out very interesting this uh, thing that uh, in this production we have this, uh, we have two kind of uh, uh, camera material. The other is that these, um, these uh, singers are shooting with these uh, cellular phones, mobile phones, cameras to each other. And the other is uh, this kind of uh, uh, High, high quality, high tech uh, uh, television camera production, which are bringing totally different pictures. Uh, also, also these um, um, uh, mo mobile mobile cameras offers us opportunity to see uh, what what uh, the point of view inside the stage. It's it's kind of point of view of of, of the uh, performer actor. So 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 in this movie, we are putting these two elements together. And, and it, it, it makes very interesting, you know, uh, new kind of language. I, I believe that uh, we haven't seen before this kind of thing that uh, 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 the actors are this much almost in every scene uh, shooting with many cameras each other. So it, it will be very interesting how these go together. The, the differences uh, with these two film sources are the, the most important difference with these two film sources is that this. Uh, uh, mobile camera, which uh, is, is, is uh, which the uh, actor is holding in his hand, and, and, and shooting during the scene what is happening, what the dramatic dramatic situation is around him or her. So so it gives uh, us the opportunity to to see uh, this performance from the uh, role character or or the or the actor's uh, point of view. That's the biggest difference. We uh, I guess we have. Um, uh, Never before been able at, at this um, uh, uh, like this. Never before for opportunity to go behind the see scenes, beh behind the stage, walk with the uh, actors and and, and, and li like that. Um, that that is that that must be the biggest value with, with these these mobiles in in this performance. Well, in this production, we are using a lot of technology, um, combining the so-called ordinary stage work, and um, I feel it gives us a certain kind of new challenges for for um, 
for interpreting roles and also communicating with cameras and audience and how to be I, I think we have to be even more precise with acting and singing because we are more um, exposed so to speak <laughs> as artists I try to use the cameras when possible in the way of deep deepen the the role of Don Giovanni and the, the, his character but in a way I tried not to think that I'm filmed because it, it might change too much also my acting so it, it's it has been all the all the rehearsal period has been trying to find the pal balance of, of uh, doing the ordinary work and also also giving opportunities for the new technologies I feel well Don Giovanni this production is um, <laughs> it's so difficult to put in words. We have tried to see it from a different point of view and looking at the libretto of Da Ponte and the also the, the way Mozart has composed Don Giovanni opera um, as detailed as possible and try to find another perspective how, is, how he doesn't get any, any lady during this, <laughs> during this opera and during this work really um, on stage and how it puts on a different light the whole 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 um, personality of Don Giovanni but I mainly I think it's it's very interesting to see how everybody has a different opinion and also my opinion changes about Don Giovanni and the myth of Don Giovanni because all the mythological persons on stage they can be so much varied about the, how old the artist is, I mean, concerning his age and also, also the people who you are working with and, and somehow compromising with all the views with, with the conductors and, and uh, yeah, directors and everybody you are working with on stage. I start to feel a bit the way Usain Bolt feels when he is running the 100 meters in the World Championships in a way. And I have to do it m more than one time during the performance. Also the champagne area and um, yeah, all the, you have to be spinning from inside the, all, the, all the three and a half hours with the break. <laughs> you can't lose your concentration during the break either, I mean, if, if you can cool down a bit. But um, I think this is the most demanding production I've been in and also acting wise and singing wise and yeah, use all your capacity you have and you can also show everything you got. <laughs> okay, then I have to still ask, what is then rewarding, especially rewarding in the work that you do now in this production? Well, I have I've been... S I learned so much working with the talented young uh, artists and also also Eric Söderblom, who is the director and... and um, has given a lot of good tips for stage work and um, yeah I concerning working the whole last year in the Finnish National Opera and doing this production and this has must have been at least as rewarding as the whole year was at the Opera House it really f has has been really exhausting but also rewarding at the same time <laughs>